Hello, welcome to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Battle Brothers. This is the final episode for my marathon episodes played thingy of uh, whatever. The release date marathon that I'm doing, guys. This is episode 20, and I will be done after this. And then it's just getting everything uploaded. I was hoping to upload a little bit more sporadically throughout the day, but again, YouTube was being, we'll, quote, we'll say, quote-unquote, difficult. But, eh, meh. It is what it is. Hopefully no more crashes and incur or occur, and we are able to do whatever it is that we want to do. It looks like it's going to take us 46 hours before our boys are back in shining, gleaming man clothing and not hurt or whining or crying about any bad things that have happened to them. We're going to go to the old guard tower, and once we are here, we're going to buy and sell. But not only are we going to buy and sell, not only that, but we are also... Wow, we have a lot of stuff to sell. We are also going to level up our boys because they, I don't think, leveled up in the last, oops, eh, whatever, the last two fights that we went through. So it is simply what it is, and they have earned themselves probably more than one level, but I don't think so. I actually don't think anybody's gained more than one level. Be 100% honest. All right, so 3,000 cash monies. We'll take it. There's still some more stuff to be sold down here. And I think pretty much everything else will eventually be okay. We're just going to move this stuff up. Why? Because I can. Alright, so there we go, folks. All the stuff should be in order. Mm -hmm. And there's really nothing else I want from this, so we will leave. I'm going to take a look at the... Oh, there are no Battle Brothers available. Well, we're going to start heading toward our favorite little place. We'll go to Ferlangen. We'll stop in. It's dusk. We should be able to make it before nightfall, and we did, which is fantastic. We're going to take a look at the Battle Brothers. Falk, Sir Sigmund, Quickmind, Gurlach, Egil, Vander on the run, and Edmund the Feral. What is he, a wild man? Yeah, he's a wild man. These dudes usually run around with axes. They're bare-chested with axes, and they just kill fools. But this guy's got a stick, or a club, if you will. This guy's a killer on the run, yep. So, pretty good stuff. Ooh, this guy looks amazing. An adventurous noble. Eh. Totally fine. Totally fine. Alright, let's see what's available in uh, the whole selling and buying department. I don't think we're ever going to use this many of our provisions, but you never know. You never know. You want to be ready for anything. You want to be prepared. And that's what we're doing. We're, we're teaching a class in preparedness at this point. Hey, the game is laggy right now a little bit. It's okay, as long as it doesn't crash. I'm okay with it being laggy. I didn't restart it after my last episode, so that could cause problems. We'll see. All right, it looks like we're going to have to go and cross the River Jordan. Once again, I don't know about the River Jordan, but we have to cross the river nonetheless. And slowly but surely make our way back to the little place that we have to kill. And then once we raise the overgrown woodcutter's hut... We'll be able to go return to Duncanwald and get some fat cash money loots. It's going to be sweet, sweet nice, and our pockets will be lined with a significantly large amount of gold. And then we can pretty much do whatever we want. I mean, oh dear lord, I don't like those things. Leave me alone. I am very, very unhappy to deal with ghosts. I'm sorry. There's clearly some sort of undead thing over here that we have yet to find, and I'm okay with that, I suppose, but... Eh... Eh. That's about all I can say. Eh. Alright, so let's make this a great episode to end the marathon on. I've only lost that one individual early on. I'm sure that person's pretty upset, but they were cool. They were part of my uh, Xenonauts LP. And they made it almost to the very end of it, so they were in for quite a long time. So it's nice to see that they got killed so early on. No, it's not nice to see they got killed early on. It's nice to see that at least they got to be back part of the, part of a new uh, LP. And, well... They got to be the first casualty of what I thought was going to be very, very many, but apparently I'm doing okay. I don't think I'm doing great. I mean, I, sh I still make several mistakes, and I've sure as heck made terrible moves with uh, destroying loot. I mean, that's definitely one of them. But uh, anytime I have to refight a battle, I've had to do it twice now. It always seems really super risky to me. I don't know. But a bunch of young orcs, again, it should be pretty much free experience for us right now. I didn't level our guys up. I said I was going to do that, and I forgot. See? I'm a terrible person. I can't help it, guys. I don't know what happens if you, like, get enough to double level. Is that going to cause some sort of issue? <coughs> hope not. Huh. You guys noticed the severe lag there? That was weird. 
I like skipped his turn because I thought there was nothing left for him to do, but it looked like he was able to do something. I think it was just due to lag. So hopefully this is still gonna play out okay and we don't crash or anything like that, but it's looking a little bit uh a little bit like that might happen. So if it does, I apologize guys, I should have probably restarted between episodes and I did not, so I will take full blame for this. Uh, normally, well, you, normal, normal people, normal people don't actually run recording software when they're playing games, and they don't have uh, things rendering in the background and uploading and everything else. So keep in mind, I do have a lot more stuff than, say, a normal person who's just playing the game would have running. I have a lot more running. So take from that what you will, and keep in mind that I'd be more, a more likely candidate for crashes, bugs, and errors than most people. Now, other YouTubers and LPers, of course, they're going to have the same issues I have, I assume, if they do everything on the same computer like I do. But, that's neither here nor there. I'm just letting you guys know what's up. Just letting you know. I'm bringing you in, bringing you in on the process. Yeah. This is not my favorite uh, situation right now, but that's okay. I'm going to come over here and chill with this guy. He's going to move soon, eventually, maybe. Easy shot there. Not quite enough for a kill, but decent. I think we can do some work on that guy. What do you think? Apparently not. I, I, I was about to sing Odie's praises with how amazing he's been lately, and then... Alright, well, man, that wasn't even enough to kill him. See, like, right down there, there was still some stuff going on. Alright, the stun went through, and it looks like we can hook our way to victory here. And indeed we did. Okay. Oh. Oh, some baby damage getting done to us. Alright, let's see. Can we land a shot forever? No. Lots of arrows behind the guy, though. Oh, I thought it was that guy. Or this guy. Hmm. Okay. We'll keep firing. Eventually, maybe we hit. There it is. There's the shot we were looking for. Alright, 83% chance to miss, apparently. There it is. We got the hit, and... I suppose I can chop your head off if you insist. There it is. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. Next. We stab you twice. And you'd be like, Ow, I'm hurt. Why? Yeah, that wasn't a good idea, buddy. Even with your shield wall up, I'm actually surprised that didn't go through. Alright, he's retreating. Don't have to worry about him. 75%. And... <laughs> Big hit, not enough to get the kill, though. I probably could have done a, a swipe, actually, on all three of them. I don't know, I feel like the axe guy does, like, a 180, so he would, like, go from here all the way... That would have still probably worked. Huh, oh well. Missed opportunity, what can I say? Very nice, and... Very, very, very nice. Okay, we'll come up over here and we will go with our shield wall. There's four people left. One, two, three, four. Okay. All four are there. Alright, I gotcha. Okay, we'll wait our turn and see if there's anything. Well, we should just probably end the turn. We don't really have to wait at this point. It's kind of a moot point, as they say. Because we have no action points left to do anything. I thought I closed with him there. Guess not. Oh, well. I'm over it. Okay, next up. We'll come down here and end you. We'll come over here and join the party around this guy. Ooh, super, super, super laggy. That's okay. It's okay. As long as the game doesn't break, I'm happy. Just hanging there. Oh, I should have moved there. Me and my foolish ways. Eh, we'll see. We'll see. So there's three left, huh? Well, if at all possible, I would like to shoot him. Ooh, and it is possible, apparently. Alright, swordsman. Darren, doing work again. Unfortunately, you can't really follow it up with anything else yet. Okay, we'll move within range and attack A. A little bit of armor damage, we'll take it. Okay, we'll move over this way. Sorry about that, folks. Alright, and... 
Move there, and dead. So really, it's just this guy left, huh? Is he gonna make a move? Are we gonna make a move? There's gonna be moves made, I know this much. Alright, and we missed our arrow. Unfortunate. Okay, we'll come over here. And defend all side. And he is no longer stunned, and Sir Paulson here is going to come on up. And it looks like Pathkeeper is ready to come on up as well. And we have him pinned now. There is no escape for his little slimy green self. We'll be able to murder him real soon. Watch, he'll kill our guy. I'll be so sad. Okay, that didn't happen, so that's good. We prefer when we don't get our guy murdered. Also, we prefer when we're on the high ground and he's on the low ground. Just saying. Just saying, if we're going after preferences, we should definitely be aware of these things. Okay. Here we go. Tack is going to come on up. Slowly but surely, we will get our people to start moving. Or skipping their turns entirely. Which is exactly what I'm doing. Alright, so we move there. And there. Very nice. And it looks like Blue Shield Spearman. Joachim. It is your turn to come on up. Nope. So Hercules, you get to sit, sit and stay right where you're at. We'll send you up. You'll be able to kill in the next little bit. And you will come up as well. Alright, we'll come over here and... Can we cripple him? By chopping off his finger. Yes, we can. So he is not having a good day. I think we got the shot. Oh, look at that. Threading the needle and getting the kill. Very, very nicely done. Level up, level up, level up, level up, level up, level up, level up. Everybody but Paulson has leveled up, folks. Let's see what kind of loot we got. Ooh, we actually got some cash money loots, too, which is sweet, sweet, nice. We can actually go bring that back, sell all this stuff, and we will be set. We're going to quickly quick save the game and hope that it doesn't break, and it didn't. I'm paranoid, guys. I'm paranoid. I, I mean, like I said, I haven't had a lot of issues, but... For whatever reason, today I found whatever the exact scenario is that requires the game to crash and burn. So now I panic that every time I move, I'm going to do something to make the game crash. Alright, well, we'll send our boys back. They should be fully healed and fully outfitted back up to, well, full real, real soon. We're going to actually open up our inventory. We are going to do the level ups. And we are going to repair all the equipment. We're repairing right now. The level ups are coming now. All right, we're going to go to perks. We're going to go to Paulson. Oh, you didn't level up. I guess we'll stop. No, kidding. We'll go to Kaladin. Oh, man, that's super duper laggy. All right. We'll open up the level thing. We're going to give you some more skill at your melee combat. And 73. We'll give you some more resolve. We want to get everybody above 50. That's my goal anyway. And besides, you are actually a resolve crazy man because you need to have other people benefit from your resolve. Okay, so what I also wanted to do with these guys, I've decided that I'm going to go into other trees now that they have everything I want out of the utility tree. And the first thing I'm going to get is Colossus. I want them to have the plus 25% hit points. And with that perk, 91. So... Our uh, spearmen are going to be a pretty big deal. And for attack, I feel like going down the assault class might be, or the offense class uh, tree, might be the correct path. And I want fast adaptation. If he misses his first strike, his next one will hit, or at least have a bonus to hit, until he actually lands a shot. So that is a pretty good thing. We're going to go with this, this, and he's got quite a bit of health, but he could have more, but we're going to, again, go with Resolve. We want him to be more resolute. Resolution and Resolve, eh, it's not really the same word. It's fine. We're going to pretend like it, it totally fits and it doesn't, it doesn't not make sense. Huh? Huh? Is that a double negative? I think it does. Or is. I think it is. I think it is. All right. Um, okay. And you have a ton of health. You don't have a lot of fatigue, so you're going to get tired relatively quick. But you do move rather rapidly. Alright, so we have all of these, and what I told you guys I wanted next was Quick Hands perk. 
And there it is. And you look, he's almost level 10 as well. So we have a level 8 who's almost level 9. We have a level 9 who's really, really close to level 10. Pretty close. Well, actually, just barely level 9. Fairly close to level... Okay, I, I got you. I got you. Oh, this guy's... This guy's level 10. What? Alright, there we go, folks. Level 10, and it looks like maybe it does go beyond level 10. So I'm pretty excited by that. I thought level 10 was the cap, but maybe I'm wrong. I... I don't know. I hope so. I hope you can keep leveling your guys up. If that's the case, I'm never replacing you guys. You guys will live on forever. Forever and ever and ever until the end of time. Plus two. Divided by three. I don't I don't know. It's fine. Alright, I didn't get Colossus with him yet. I got that, but I'm going to get it this time. So, that was the plan. I am going to, once again, get you a little bit more resolve. You actually have very, 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 very low resolve. I think it's because... You're irrational, so you have a plus 10 or a minus 10 randomly. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, minus 15 because you're a deserter. And apparently... Yeah, I, I don't know. You're doing okay, man. Joachim Martier, the drunkard's doing quite well for all of his uh, little problems there. He is now a colossus with a ton of health. Uh, 88 not quite 90, but eh, still pretty good. All right, Captain Odie, good sir. Welcome to level 9. We will get you almost up to 80. You, I think you'll be the first ranged unit to hit 80 if you make it. And eh, your resolve is actually quite good. So we're going to give you a little bit more maximum fatigue. And there you have it. And let's see. What are we going to do with you? We've already done all of that wonderful fun stuff. I have no idea what to do with you. Um, I think I was going to add this to it. Yeah. Uh, go for the head, the head hunter. So each time you, uh, each time you hit the body, you get a 10% chance to hit the head for critical damage, and it actually will stack until you actually land a headshot. So I think that will work out really, really good with our current archers. So there we go. That's the plan. I mean, with all the bonus to hit and everything else, I mean that's going to be really, really nasty when we start landing those headshots. And we go to Kippa Kips, level 9. The original casualty in XCOM is living pretty large and pretty long here. Alright, we'll give him some melee skill. Plus 5, very nice. And plus 3 for the defense. Yeah, you're looking pretty good there, buddy. You're looking pretty good. And we're going to give you a little bit more maximum fatigue. I think that's going to be the play. And I don't know what to do with you, man. I guess we could go the same route. We can give you Headhunter. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Let's do that. So you can... Oh, man, can you imagine him critting with that bill hook? Oh, forget about it, guys. That's like an instant... That's insta-gibbing people at that point. All right, Demagogly the Blind hit level 8. Pretty good, pretty good. You have the lowest of the low skills. It's okay. You're still doing work. Not not quite as well as the others. Not not quite as good, but you're, you're still doing a decent amount. You have pretty good resolve. Your health is a little low. I'd like to get that a little bit higher. Oh, actually, you had the, the bonus to health. Eh, whatever. You're over 70. That's totally fine with me. And why does it look like you have different perks than... Oh, you don't. Okay. Well, you're going to get this one. Quick hands. Just in case we need to swap you out. With a melee weapon or whatever the case is. Alright, let's see. We'll do the perk first this time. And we're going to go from 72 health to Colossus health. Bringing him up to 90. Very nice shockness monster. Welcome to 90 HP, buddy. And 83, going up to 86. Not bad. Not bad. Your resolve is pretty low. Let's get that up higher. Okay, we're going to go to Darren here. And Darren the Grim Blade. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's going to be definitely one that you're going to want. So we're going to use that as his perk. And 81 skill. Very nice. 18... Your HP is okay. It's not fantastic, but my goodness, you have terrible resolve. However, you have a bonus to it. So we'll get it a little bit higher. How about 44? That's that's a little bit above average, I think, or maybe right at average, actually. Pathkeeper, the emo one, the bleeder. All sorts of interesting skills and things like that here. Uh, I'm not sure what I want to do with you, though. I think... I don't know if Berserk is the right one for you. I think what I might want to have with you is probably the extra health. 
And then, I, I just, I don't know. I'm not entirely certain what else to get with you. Maybe student? I mean, if we go past level 10, maybe I'll pick up student on all our people. I mean, that's a thing I'm willing to do, for sure. I don't think headhunters... Well, headhunter might be... Ah, we're gonna get Colossus. That's fine. Let's just do it. Get you some extra health. You were pretty low at 66. Now you're at 82. Now you're at least feasible as a kind of a frontline combatant. We need to get you better armor, though. We need to get some chain. We need to find armor. The shopkeepers are definitely being stingy with us, folks. It's it's a little disheartening. I don't enjoy it. It's like, come on, guys. Come on. Oh, you're, you're really low with your resolve. Holy cow. I didn't know how low you were. I guess you had a lot of little issues coming in. Well, you are a bleeder, so, meh. Alright, Sir Hercules. Welcome to level 7. You are the late bloomer of the squad, but you are literally the last member added, so that's not to be, you know, unexpected. Oh, you have really nice resolve. Very good. Your initiative, pretty low. We're going to give you a little bit more, see if we can't get you to act a little sooner still. I think you're on the right path, but you're not there yet. And we're going to give you Killing Frenzy, so you can do even more damage after you murder, murder a fool or two. Okay, and you're on your way pretty close, in fact, to level 8. And that's pretty much everyone leveled up. So, with that, I'm going to make another quick save. And we'll continue on. We're about 21 minutes into the episode. Hopefully we're able to make it back to Duncanwald. By the time the episode ends, I don't know, we might get attacked by undead if that's the case, and we'll end the episode after the fight. I'm going to try to avoid any conflict that I can. I mean, if the city's being attacked or being raided, I will most assuredly help out, but short of that, I'm not going to go looking for a fight. We're just going to go back, collect our pay, and be like, you know, we could retire. We have enough food to last us for like a year almost. 82 days at least. I mean, that's what, almost three months? I mean... We could definitely take like a month sabbatical, just kind of party and go, I don't know, do whatever we wanted. Oh, we ran into a mountain. Good thing we weren't driving a car. That would have gone really poorly for us. Like, blah, 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 blah. Oh, gosh. Oh, no, the orcs are so close. They want to eat their faces. They're so yummy. I, I don't know. I've never eaten an orc's face. I have no idea if it's yummy or not. Um, uh, we're going to leave it. We're gonna leave it. I'm gonna I'm gonna behave myself. I don't want to. I want to go murder, but I'm gonna be a I'm gonna be a good bumpy, a good mercenary commander. I'm gonna go get paid. We've been away from this uh, mission for quite a while, so I think there's a time limit. And if we don't make it in time, I'm gonna be really, really unhappy. Okay, well we can sell a whole plethora of junk, so let's do that. This guy's like, I don't want any more orc weapons. Don't you have any human weapons you want to sell me? What is this? There we go. I like it. Wow. 4190. Very nice. Alright, and I think it's time that we do this too. <sighs> Alright, Paulson. You no longer get to carry the great axe. I'm sorry, buddy. It's time that you move up to the Mansplitter. <laughs> so that should work out pretty well. Let's see here. Oh gosh, you're so slow. Hold on. You have more resolve. Max fatigue is 72 with that. Oh gosh, your max fatigue is... Oh my lord, no, no, no. Yeah, Paulson definitely gets to use the other one. We gotta get his initiative up next, but... <laughs> his resolve, or his uh, max fatigue is amazing, so... Yeah, we'll, we'll take it, I guess. Alright, so we'll hold on to all that wonderful fun stuff, and we'll continue onward. I have made up my mind. I want to try that weapon out. It looks amazing. Also, before we leave, I'm sorry, guys. I think it's exactly the same. Like, all the skills are identical. They are. But, tell me that doesn't look amazing. He's really going to get tired quick, but... I mean, if he gets, like, an extra 30 damage out of his axe, I mean, I think that's going to be worth it. Hopefully you folks agree. Hopefully you've had a lot of fun with me on this day and throughout this LP. I mean, I've had a blast. I love this game. I will be playing it till, I don't know, about till the day that I die. But maybe, maybe till the day that I die. I really, really enjoy this game. There's a few games right now I'm just absolutely over the moon about. I know, it's a weird saying. I, I don't know how you could possibly be over the moon. But I really, really, really like this game, Battle Brothers. I really am enjoying Telepath Tactics. I know a lot of people aren't going to like it, but I grew up with games like... Um, Final Fantasy Tactics, Shining Force, Fire Emblem, Ogre Battle, games like that, and 
Telepath Tactics just speaks to me on that level, and I am so excited to play that game. It's so cool. I was so glad I found it. All right, let's see here. Eh. We'll just buy the normal stuff, I guess. Keep ourselves stocked. I think that might be all we need. Let's see here. Sorry, guys. I know we keep going to this. All right, yeah. There we go. This is going to be the last one that needed it. There we go, except you're supposed to go into there. That's my fault. That's my fault. Okay, does that mean all of our spearmen now have... I know I don't utilize it very often. I'm usually just rolling up on people and murdering their faces at this point, but if I ever decide to actually utilize it, it will be nice to... Have the game crash again, folks! Cool! Alright, folks, another little crash there, but we knew we were playing with fire on that one. We hadn't reset since after, you know, since the... Alright, folks, another crash, but at least it wasn't in a bad place. I've been doing quick auto saves all the way throughout. It's not that big of an issue. And we knew there was some lag issues and everything else. I should have restarted the game earlier, and I didn't, so it's my own fault. But we're back in it, we're going. I don't know what exactly I was saying the last time I did this, because I actually... If you want to take a look with me, I last auto-saved here, so I still had to walk all the way around here, sell, walk all the way here, and we're back. But, we're almost done with our little circuit, and we'll be back to Duncanwald in just a few seconds, and then, we can finally turn in our quest and get our fat cash money prize. So we're at 33.23 right now. I actually don't think I got as much where I sold, I sold at the town instead of the, uh, the tower, and I think I got quite a bit less. So that's why my money looks different, and that's what happened. All right, so let's go see. We're up to 4303, actually, and unearthed grave mounds. Please don't be to the east. Way west from where we stand. All right, well, we'll grab this one up, and maybe it will actually be visible. Let's take a look at who's here. Same people that were here before, and let's take a look on the overhead map. And, oh, it actually shows up. Very nice. It's deadly. I don't think I want to go to deadly right now. And it's probably filled with undead. The sad, the sad remains of a merciless battle, an epidemic, or other catastrophe. The survivors dug a large hole and piled... Oh, those are corpses. Lovely. Piled all the corpses into it to get rid of them quickly. That definitely sounds like an undead fight that we would have on our hands. Let's take a look at the shop. And it looks like just a bunch of food and supplies, which we will make good use of. All right, folks, that's pretty much going to do it for this episode and for my marathon play of Battle Brothers. This is 10 episodes in a singular day, guys. Don't look for me to have that many episodes ever again, or at least not for a very long time with any game, because this was actually a lot of work, and it was worth it. It was worth it. The developers did a fantastic job with the game. They've done good work with me throughout the early access period, or pre-early access period even. And yeah, I think they deserved a big bump, and I gave it to them. So... If you guys enjoyed yourselves, stick around. I will be doing more Battle Brothers stuff if and when I decide to either end this one, say we get to a point where there's really nothing left to do and it's just kind of meh, I might start over with Season 2. I don't think there's an end game just yet, so I don't think I can beat it, but I don't know what, you know, what I'll be able to do, how far I'll be able to go, whatever the case is. I'll start up a Season 2. We'll try some different strategies. We won't go with spears. Maybe we'll go with clubs and we'll do a stun strategy. I don't know. I don't know, but there's a few different ways to play, so I mean, I'm all eager to try a few different things. Maybe we go mass knives and we just avoid armor altogether and we just stab people to death. I don't know. I don't know. But, for now, that's going to do it for this episode. This, this series, this season, will continue, and then I'll let you guys know if I decide to break it off and then start up a season two. Either way, that's going to do it. Thanks for stopping by the Freak Show. My name's Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.